The Pirates Next Door, starring the Jolly Rogers by Johnny Duddle. There weren't too many kids around, just Tilda on her street. The lawns were mowed, the cars were washed, the hedges trimmed and neat. The house next door had been for sale since Tilda was a baby. She hoped a family would move in with a girl her age, or maybe a boy. A pirate boy, ahoy! He had patched up jeans, an eye patch, and a wooden legged dog, and a pirate ship with treasure chests and barrels full of grog. Where are the Jolly Rogers? We'll be anchoring next door. We've sailed the seven seas, but now we've had to come ashore. I feel a little land sick, but mum says it'll pass. That's my mother over there digging up the grass. That's Dad over yonder, the captain of our crew. He likes to shout ooh a lot, cause that's what pirates do. Grandpa won't set foot on shore, he's allergic to dry land. The last time that he left the ship, the king chopped off his hand. That irk in there called Nugget, she's a rascal as you'll see. She ain't learned to fire a cannon yet, but then she's only three. Next morning, Tilda shouted, Life's not boring anymore. Isn't it fantastic that those pirates move next door? But mum and dad were not impressed. The neighbourhood will sneer. The way they dress, the way they speak, they won't fit in around here. Their kids are always playing with the most alarming toys. We'd rather you were friends with normal girls and boys. But that very day, young Jim Lad came to Matilda's school though no one else would sit by him. Matilda said, You're cool. You ain't so bad yourself, my lass. For a landlubber, that's rare. I'm a scurvy sea dog, but you'll be all right sitting there. The teacher said Jim should wear shoes, and his uniform was wrong. She wrote a note, but Jim replied, I won't be staying here long. We're only here a little while, so Dad can fix our ship. We ain't cut out for life on land, this day just be a blip. We are the Jolly Rogers, and we need to be at sea. School's just grand, but understand, it's a pirate's life for me. After school, a neighbour came around for cake and tea. Her name was Mrs Bumble, from number 33. Shh. Miss Pinky called the council to see what they could do. She didn't live through two world wars to have pirates spoil her view. Isn't it disgraceful? On such a lovely street, you think they would try to keep their garden looking neat? They have to go. Their teeth are black, said Mrs. Devine, who lived at number 89. Their nails are too. This dirtiness just will not do. They never wash. Their kids have lice. They really don't smell very nice. You smell? Okay. Um, thanks? They wear old clothes and scruffy hats, and I'm told their ship are full of rats. Also crossed was Mr. Shaw, the grumpy man at 34. He liked to read the paper on his sunlit patio, but the pirate ship blocked out the light. He said, they'll have to go. I'd quite like some peace and quiet, but they're fixing up that boat. Hammering all day and night, that thing will never float. The two Miss Yates at 88 told everyone who passed their gate. We saw them grab the postman, they made him walk the plank. It's lucky he can swim, but we're afraid his post bag sank. They scared all the ducks, said Mrs Snucks, and terrorised the park. They boarded people's rowboats and fired cannons for a lark. Lost my boy. Uar. Quack, quack. Driving home from Bingo, Miss Plum got quite a fright. They were digging up the roundabout in the middle of the night. Oh. They have cutlasses, said Mr. Brown, and love to run you through. They'll steal your gold, or so I'm told. What are we all to do? Miss Bevan from 87 marched down to the town hall. She'd collected a petition, 50 signatures in all. They're digging holes and fighting fights, the beginning of the end. 
We've lived here for years and years, and so have all my friends. Before you know it, there'll be more. We'll all have pirates lodged next door. The Jolly Rogers cannot stay. You must make them go away. That night there was a tapping at Matilda's window pane. Outside was Jim. He whispered, I've got something to explain. Whenever we stop somewhere new, the neighbours are unkind. To show them pirates aren't so bad, we leave some things behind. Now the black hole ship shape, it's time we sailed away. And I'll be sad to leave, as I have so enjoyed our stay. But we pirates need adventure, to see lands across the ocean. We need cutlasses and treasure maps, and lots of suntan lotion. Though our visit here just has to end, I hope you'll still be my friend. If you want, we can send notes. Use something handy, a thing that floats. Matilda woke next morning, puzzled by what Jim had said. She vowed she'd keep in touch with him as she struggled out of bed. She opened up her curtains as she stretched and had a yawn. And there to her amazement was a cross on every lawn. Oh, what a shame. I didn't say goodbye. We were such a lovely family. I think I'm going to cry. I'm such a pirate fan, you know. They wore such pretty hats. I rather like their singing. And I'll miss those fluffy rats. Hmm? After that, the town went on landlubbering happily. But Tilda now goes fishing on the jetty by the sea. She's waiting for a message to wash up on the shore from her very special pirate friend, the one who lived next door. So now it's the school holidays. You can come aboard our ship. We'll pick you up next Tuesday for a special pirate trip. Jim Lad.